All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms, and data structures beta. Learn basic string and array methods by building a music player. Step 33. All right. So now we're going to add an else block to handle the current song's position in the playlist. So within the else block, we're going to set the current time property of the audio object to the value stored in user data optional chaining song current time. All right. So what we're going to do here is we'll do else. And then right here, we're going to do, uh, what is it? The audio object. So audio dot current time equals user data optional chaining song current time. And what this is going to do is if we push pause, uh, basically, if we push pause, uh, it'll just start it right back up on at where we paused it, right? So let's uh, check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 34. And we'll see you next time.